Okay, this is going to be a short video going back in time to detail my first foray into purchasing precious metals and also it's coupled with my penchant for collecting things. Now, back in 1987, I saw an advertisement in my local newspaper, which is the Philadelphia Inquirer about silver. Now they, they were called silver proofs and if I recall the advertising it was for four ounces of silver 0.999 fine silver in the configuration of the new at that time $100 bills that would be the uh, the Ben Franklin and those were that was at the time when they had switched over from the smaller head size to the larger head size of the um, notable person on the on the uh, the bill and so I was intrigued I had always wanted to purchase precious metals um, even from back from when I was a kid and that was my opportunity to do so so I do not recall exactly how much th um, this item cost at the time but it seemed like a good idea to buy it at the time so I went ahead and purchased it and I'm a little disappointed that I actually can't find the cost of it because that would be nice to compare it to uh, how much it's actually worth uh, today and I did a little research prior to uh, making this video and back in 1997 the average cost of silver or the average value was 4.9 or four dollars and ninety cents an ounce the high for 1997 was six dollars and twenty seven cents an ounce and the low was four dollars and twenty two cents an ounce so without further ado this is what I purchased Okay, this was from the Washington Mint, and this is a certificate of authenticity for the 1997 $100 silver proof, and this is registration number 33607, and open this up, the certificate of authenticity, quarter pound silver proof. This certifies that each 1997 $100 Franklin silver proof contains one quarter pound of 0.999 pure silver bullion and has been individually die struck by the Washington Mint to the highest proof quality. This limited striking has been conducted by the Washington Mint in full accordance with established guidelines and practices. And it goes on to have the specifications there, one quarter pound, four troy ounces, proof, the size, the design from the new U.S. Franklin $100 Federal Reserve note, and a mintage limit of 100,000 units. And it came in this nice velour or velvet, I think this is probably more velour. It looks a little worse uh, with the little particles on there than it, it looks a little worse on the screen than it really is in real life. I guess the lighting doesn't help very much. But here is the actual silver proof. As you can see how shiny it is. It's in a capsule which was supposed to be hermetic or airtight but you can see some oxidation um, tarnishing I guess was the actual term along the edges of it where some air has actually infiltrated over time you can see my camera there so that gives you an idea of the mirror like finish that this thing had and there's the date 1997 hundred dollars and on the reverse side 
that looks like Independence Hall here in Philly. So this was my first foray into actually buying precious metals. As I said, it's partially for the investment and partially to satisfy my penchant for collecting things. And there is a disclaimer that comes along with it saying that please do not remove it from the capsule or touch it with your hands at any time. Your fingerprints will leave non-removable permanent marks on the mirror-like finish or mirror-like surface. And there's a warning against trying to rubber shine your proof. So this thing has been nothing on the back side there. This thing has been in this capsule in the small box here, the velour line box or the velour box since I purchased it in 1997 so it's been in here for quite a long while and it will remain so until I actually decide to sell it and I think I had mentioned the let's turn this light off here a little bit okay there you go you can just see the mirror like finish because you can see my lamp here you can see my hand just floating around here like that way above there da 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 so I mean this thing is really shiny uh, I mean I guess this is probably the best way to really indicate how shiny and you can see my hand there doing all kinds of things and as I say that is a mirror like finish and you can see me in the background there but um just to recap, the average value in 1997 of an ounce of silver was $4.90. And so far in 2012, it's $31.37. A couple years ago, it had gotten as high as $43 an ounce. So this, unlike copper bullion, is a good investment this is real true honest to goodness precious metal for investment and collecting potential and I just wanted to share this with um, the silver bullion crowd out there it's definitely something that people should get in order to preserve the value of their money uh, silver has a wet silver and the other precious metals they're a nice store of wealth so if you have an opportunity to get some I would recommend that you get some um, the way our government is devaluing the dollar the way the Fed is robbing us of our money um, a year year at a time year over year the dollar just degrades in value I mean you buy less and less with it the purchasing power is slumping um, this is a good way to um, get into it. Start small, work your way up, and just continue to buy some. That's all I can suggest. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, let me know what you think about uh, investing in silver. Let me know what you think about investing in precious metals. Let me know what you think about, um, as they refer to this as a uh, this is a proof of a reserve note. So it's not even true money it's just a reserve note there's nothing backing it up it's just a promissory note that it will have a certain value or not even that it will have certain value but that you can it just had it's just a medium of exchange and it promises that you can buy things with it not how much you can buy with it not how much you're going to be able to buy with it over time just that you can buy things with it in this country. Medium of exchange, that's all. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.